Hi everyone, this is your math guru. Today we are going to use prime factorization in finding the square root of a perfect square. Please don't forget to subscribe below for more videos on easy to understand math concepts. What is a square root? It's a value that can be multiplied by itself to give the original number. The symbol for a square root is shown below. For example, I can write the square root of 9 equals 3 because 3 times 3 equals 9. In summary, the square of 3 will give you 9. That is, 3 times 3 equals 9, which is the square. And the square root of 9 will give you 3. That is, square root of 9 equals Let's look at the following example and learn how to use prime factorization to find the square root of a perfect square. There are three basic steps to follow. The first step is to factorize your number into prime factors. The second step is to make pairs of similar factors. You take out one factor from each pair and find the product. Example 1. Find the square root of 36. Using prime factorization, we find the factors, prime factors of 36. Prime factors are numbers that can only be divided by themselves and 1. We start with 2 because 36 is an even number. 2 in 36, we have 18. 2 in 18, we have 9. 3 in 9, because 9 is not an even number, we can't use 2 anymore. We have 3, and then 3 in 3, we have 1. Thus, 36 equals 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. We go to the next step of making pairs of similar factors. We have 2 and 2, we have 3 and 3, because those factors are the same. Each one will give us... 2 times 2, 3. We multiply the factors from the pair we got. 2 times 3 will give us 6. Thus, the square root of 36 is 6 because we know that 6 times 6 will give us 36. Let's look at another example below. Let's find the square root of 64 using prime factorization. We start by dividing by 2, 2 in 64, 32, 2 in 32, 16, 2 in 16, 8, 2 in 8, 4, 2 in 4, 2, and 2 in 2, 1. 64 will give us 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. The next step is to make pairs of similar factors. 2 times 2 will give us 2. 2 times 2, that's another pair. And then we have one more pair. And this will give us 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, the square root of 64 will give us 8. The check is 8 times 8 is 64. Let's look at the following challenge questions. Find the square root of 196 and the square root of 100. You can pause the video to try it out. The square root of 196 is 14 because the check is 14 times 14 should give us 196 and the square root of 100 is 10 because 10 times 10 is 100. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below. Bye.